welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a bit of block work. I'm going to show you guys how I lay 10 inches block. These are some heavy blocks. I'm going to show you guys how I manage to put them over and the technique of how to plumb them, level them, and get them straight as possible. But if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button so when I upload new video, you get notified. Let's dive right into the video. One more. So here, as you see, I run my line from one end to the other. And then I plumb down from the line down to my concrete. And that's where we're gonna start our first block. And as always, as I always mention, um, do your first block, you want to make sure it's plumb, level, and square. Your first post that you're laying on the footing. Because it's very important. If you don't get the first post right, you're all going to be crooked, go all the way up. So take your time, no rush. Make sure you get the first one right. And afterwards, all of them should be easy going up. I have a video in the description if you want to see how I build that corner I won't go over it again because I already put up a I already put up a video of how to build a lead so I have a video up in the description of how to build a lead and as you see there I, I, I basically butter the face of the block and then I draw the motor into the side so if you don't butter the face of the block, it make it a bit more difficult for it to stick onto it. As you see there again, I butter it first, see, and then I, 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 I draw it onto it. So that's a technique that I learned um, over the years doing block work. This motor here is not so good, it's a bit hard as you can see there. It's not even holding up properly. It was in the evening, the last um, set of motor, and we just put it up as it is there. But guys, if you're getting value from this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It, do, it really helps um, YouTube promote the video so other people can view it and learn from it as well and subscribe as well for um, the, um after we finish this foundation our next video for this is gonna be the block we're gonna um, do the block work and the, the side wall this block wall back wall that we're doing right now um gonna be siding so this um, lead as you see there, I have video up in the description and up top as well where I show you guys how I build the lead. Feel free, free to check it out. And for the, the, the corner there, you wanna you wanna dwell your steel into the wall every three courses. That's how I do it. And put it, I put a put a half inch rebar into the wall, and I glue it in every three courses up on both sides. And make sure you do that so you can tie in the, the block with this rebar into the wall. Guys, if you're new learning how to lay a block, just take your time. You know what I mean? See me doing it right now, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it's years of years practice and, you know, working your way until you become perfect at doing it. 
So if you're watching the video of trying to learn how to lay a block, you know, gradually you will get there. Just take your time and practice to do it the right way and don't don't take corners. And for sure you will get there. That's all that's how all of us start off, you know. It's always start from um, slight experience, almost none at all. And then you just work your way up. So just take your time and and do it right. You will get there. I remember one back in the days when I used to come here on YouTube as well, trying to watch the video, trying to learn how to do certain things. And back in those days, there wasn't any video like this to help. You know, so it's a bit easier now where you can watch a video, see how someone do it, and may you, you may learn something from it. And this block that I'm laying right now, it's 35 pound heavy. So guys, if you're planning to lay a block, um, 10 inches block like this, you want to make sure you eat a lot of food before you come out here on this day. Because <laughs> this is not a piece of cake. It's a very, very heavy block. Trust me. So it doesn't kill to make a second check. So I'm just checking back to make sure my wall is perfectly level. So what I did, as you see down there, I, I use my uh, my laser level to catch the level, but I just want to go back to to make a second check with the level because you never know. And we're just working our way. It's gonna be our um, last course up on the, the last piece of the foot in there. Guys, you want to tap over as you see I'm tapping the edge of the block that would help to bring it over So there I have my lead now. As you see this level line that I run, it's, it's right 100% level with this corner here. So we lever it from that corner down there and work our measurement from the bottom up. So if you have to go with a tighter joint or a bigger joint to get the same level, so everything is perfectly level going that way. So here we, get, we finish with that corner there now. So we're gonna work over here. We're gonna catch our level right there. So we're gonna transfer this level from this corner over to this corner so just to make sure we have a perfectly level go right around the, the, the garage we're building a garage here guys I have brick for the side wall coming up so subscribe and click the notification bell so when I upload those brick uh, video you get notified and come back and see how I do it so as you see here, I'm transferring my lever from this corner right here where Sanjay stand up. And over there, I'm nailing a piece of rafter onto the wall and plumb that. So we're gonna use that as a guide now to work our way from the top down. Pull a little bit more stiffer on the line. Don't move the hand. That's where it is, mark it and then on the mark from the top down. That way we know exactly to work our line. Oh, 
brick in your block is seven and a half inches thick. You want to have a quarter inch joint. And guys, if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment down in the bottom section here. Because I read all of you guys' comments. And in this corner as well, I dwell in the wall every three courses. You want to make sure you drill and tie this um, wall to the existing wall that's there already. Now we're gonna put in our our anchor bolt for the plate. The so way you wanna do this, you wanna catch uh, so for here we're gonna put it in the center. So I have a mark here. So I'm, all I'm gonna do now is just continue to put it right where the mark is. So guys, I'm, split, I'm spacing my hunk about 32 inches apart. I know everyone works different, but that's how wide I space them. So guys, you wanna push down you wanna push down the ball till they reach to the treading. So this is the plate. This, this is the board that's going to use for the plate. So you want to push the board right down past the treading. That way when the, when the tread go on to it, when the washer go on to it, 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 it can tighten on. So you could push it anywhere past. Once you tread in reach on top there, it's good. So 
So after we're gonna go back through and plump each one of them, put our level on them and make sure that they're straight. So guys, if you get value from the video, go ahead and share it with your friends. Someone may see it and learn something from it as well. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. So those are the anchor bolts. We're gonna put our brick on the outside. There you have it guys, if you find value from this video, do give it a like, give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so when I started to put the brick for the sidewall here, click the notification bell so you get notified and come back and watch this um, the brick wall going up. That's it for now guys, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.